Starting from the center, pencil two 12 and a half inch marks away from the strain gauge's center. Repeat the same step making six and a half inch marks from the center of the strain gauge. With the lines you just made, record the width of the beam and mark the center of both of those lines closest to the strain gauge. Next record the beam's thickness. Position the beam on the rest at the 12 and a half inch mark. Connect the red gauge lead to the red terminal. Connect both the black and white gauge lead to the white terminal. Wire the white terminal to the top of the yellow terminal. Verify that it is quarter bridge wiring. Rotate the amp zero knob so that the display reads 0000. zero, zero, zero. Now record your gauge factor. Press run to calibrate. Zero out the balance by rotating the balance knob. Place your weights on the center line at the six and a half inch pencil line mark. Record your measurement. Add your weights. Again, record your measurement. Remove your weights and look to see if the balance returns to zero. Record your strain gauge resistance. Record resistance. Measure actual resistance. Measure the resistance. You will repeat this step for all five resistances. Record your last resistance. Record gauge factor. Adjust the gauge factor knob to the value that you previously recorded. Attach white gauge lead to lower left terminal. Attach the black gauge lead to the upper left terminal. Attach red gauge lead to upper middle terminal. Attach external resistors to black and red terminals. Turn a 
external resistance off and calibrate the strain using the balance knob. Turn your resistance on and record the value. Tap the indicator to allow movement to overcome static friction.